On March the 21st, the whole THSC policy team was in place in Austin, Texas, in the Texas Senate, as the Senate held hearings on parental choice and education bills. I've been saying for some time now that this is the session of parental rights. We are seeing literally dozens of bills filed across the topics on encouraging and protecting the fundamental right of parents to raise their children as they see fit. And on this day in the Senate Education Committee, we had four bills that were what we would call ESA bills or parental choice and education bills, bills that empower parents to make more education choices for their children. And so THSC was there uh, to give uh, testimony uh, on or, in fact, in, in favor of some of these bills. So those bills uh, fall into a couple of categories. One is what you will hear people call about a universal bill. That is a, a bill that would empower any child in Texas to participate in that uh, uh, education bill or that education savings account bill where the, the money would actually follow the child and not the institution. And so we had uh, two of those bills. One was uh, Senate Bill 176 by Senator Mays Middleton that I uh, testified in favor of. Another was a bill by Senator Paxton, uh, Senate Bill 2483. Both of those were universal bills that if passed would allow any student in Texas, whether they're in a public school or private school or a home school, to participate. The parents would get funding for the education of their children. Uh, we had Senate Bill 8, which was the bill uh, that is probably going to move. And as I speak, that bill was voted out of committee and will be on the Senate floor uh, anytime soon. And that bill actually is a bill that would limit, it would be available only to primarily to those students who were leaving the public school, but it would empower parents. And then we had SJ SJR 29, that's a constitutional amendment by Senator Paxton that would actually uh, put the right of parents to direct the education of their children in the, uh, the Bill of Rights in the Texas Constitution. So it was a long day. There was a lot of testimony given. Uh, Vice President of Policy Jeremy Newman was invited to give uh, testimony on the, the constitutional amendment by Paxson. And then I was invited by Senator Middleton to give testimony on that bill. I think it is encouraging to see, as I've mentioned, that we see parental rights moving uh, Senate Bill 8, which is a massive bill that has a lot of public education issues, a lot of school choice issues in it, was voted out of committee. And as I record this, will be on the House floor uh, later this week. So for the first time in, in decades, it looks like the Texas legislature may be catching up with the public, uh, where we see across every demographic, a majority of parents support giving parents more empowerment for the education of their children. Um, we see homeschoolers support this by over 70%. We see Republican primary voters support this by over 80%. And yet we've seen a uh, little movement of that, that issue until this session. So now we see the Governor Abbott is promoting this bill and working for this issue. Lieutenant Governor is for it. And we are seeing this bill, I think Senate Bill 8, will be voted out of that, the Texas Senate and over to the Texas House. And then we will begin to see uh, that measure debated in the Texas House, which would every, every observer acknowledges is where this, the, this is going to come down to. So I hope you'll share this information, this video with your, with your friends. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you for helping us keep Texas families free.